What's up guys, Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video in Ranked, and this time I'm playing with the Paleozoic deck, formerly known as the Burgestomas. Um, I'm really happy with the name change to, uh, to Paleozoics, uh, even though I think it's kind of a dumb name. It's just, it's much easier to pronounce universally than Burgestoma is. I don't even know if that's even the correct pronunciation of it, because I've never actually completely fully checked. But anyway, this deck is actually really cool. Um, I don't know if we're getting the next wave of support, um, of the Korean exclusive support. In, uh, in our next set, Invasion Vengeance, but that would be really cool to get it. I think the deck is actually a very fun and, like, interesting mechanic to play. I don't know if it's going to... I don't think it's going to be anything near, uh, like, a tier status of either, like, tier 3 or tier 2. Um, it does definitely overrun people if you open well, uh, because, you know, you're just doing the trap thing. You do have access to amazing cards like Carter Demise, uh, just to give you, like, uh, just more cards. In this deck, it's actually very interesting because you do a lot of playing on your opponent's turn, and Carter Demise is more of just an engine accelerant than it is a uh, dig for actual like traps that are like meaningful traps. You actually are just trying to get into more of your uh, Paleozoic cards um, and just more traps to activate in general so you can stack up a lot of summons. Uh, but overall, the deck is kind of built pretty interestingly. I'm basically trying to build it to, uh, to uh, maximize on the potential of the trap effects in Graveyard and it's been working pretty well so far. Uh, there's some minor changes that I might make to it down the line. I'm not a big fan of the Frog build anymore because Reasoning was a big reason to play that deck. And it's just, the Reasoning is uh, is at 1, so the Frog engine just got like a lot worse because, I mean, Reasoning was a 1 card like guaranteed milling you cards and then getting to a Frog that was either Ronin Toten or Swap Frog, which was going to give you plays. Um, so, there was that as little factors, but ultimately... I'm not going to waste too much time talking about this. Let's just jump into the game, shall we? Let's see. Let's see how this deck ends up actually doing when I throw it into a ranked environment. All right, so here's hoping that I actually get to go first. Damn it. I don't. This deck struggles so hard going second because it's 29 trap cards, man. <laughs> it should be pretty self-exclamatory. Why are the deck struggles going second? But uh, why is this person not picking? Come on now. Pick. Pick, man. If you're debating on going second, then stop that debate. Pick the second button. I would be like your BFF for life. Like, no no disrespect to anyone who has a BFF for life. Like, it's very easy for you to gain that status with yours truly. Like, it's... Oh, come on now. Oh my god, really? Uh, uh, really now? Really? Come on. I mean, I'll take the free rating... But, like, there we go. He has no extra deck, which means it's probably something demise-oriented. Which is fine, because I'm okay with this. One day of peace? What is this, Exodia? Oh, no. Oh, no. If this is Exodia, this is going to be a problem. Uh, because that's going to... Well, actually, eh, maybe? I don't know. Well, no, I, I don't think my win condition is faster than an Exodia deck. Uh, basically. Oh, this is so awful. That is a card car. That is most definitely a card card D. That means this is most likely just some punk ass Exodia deck. Uh, but my hand has. Why does my hand have so many cards in it? Why do I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards? Oh, one day. Shit. I was losing my mind. <laughs> losing my mind for the slick second. Um, let's see. So I can set all of these that matter. I'll set this, this, and this. I'll keep the Hallucigenia in my hand for the Pikaia. Um, I'm going to set all of these because they're all activatable. Uh, I'm going to draw phase the uh, Pikaia. And then also um, I'm going to draw phase the Pikaia just to draw cards. Uh, and then I'm also going to do the Olenoids um, after this resolves and these cards are engraved. Uh, so... Like, or actually, I'm just gonna like leave it here because if this is a trap card. That means I get my monster for free. That's value. Um, so that'll go to grave. I'll draw two cards. Why do I draw these warnings? Like they're going out of style. Uh, well, we'll activate this. We'll just if this is something like reckless, I'd rather force it now uh, because that just you know just seems more optimal. The legacy of Yadagarasu. All right. Well, we'll activate this. It is this literally is just punk ass Exodia. It's not even like deep draw Exodia, it's playing trap cards. Interesting. It's like stall Exodia? Um, but, regardless, I've got Threatening Roar which is useless, I can just use it as a, uh, as a, as a chump activation to get these on board. Uh, I don't play Augusto Phoenix, that's gonna be an issue. 
Actually, I should have just saved that Olenoids. Um, this was not the smartest of maneuvers. <laughs> but I get to start my next board with my next turn with four monsters on board, and I can normal summon Plague. So there is that potentially, but uh, and he, he's not under one day anymore either. So there's that. I just I'm not having a fan of I'm not a fan of this. No. Not a fan of it at all. I'm going to play this Threatening Roar because it doesn't actually matter. Why is DevPro taking so long to register? There we go. Uh, I'm getting some lag spikes. Ew. Uh, so we'll activate this. And that will allow this to happen. I'm really impressed with the new UI um, that uh, DevPro has put onto these cards. You can no longer pick the same one twice. And that was a problem I was having way back when I originally played this deck. Way back in the day. Uh, was that you could pick the same card twice, <laughs> and it was a problem? Uh, 100%. But uh, otherwise, I'm really I'm really happy that they've changed that to where it literally only allows you to pick the ones that haven't activated. Uh, so that's good. So, another Shape Sister. Well, from here I can just make a normal Karras and I can start in phase popping his, uh, his cards. There's that. Um, I can just go ahead and start popping them now, in fact might actually be the thing that happens because I can do this and this I can just pop a card and just bait it see what it is and then I can flip iron wall which will get this back uh, which will allow me to special it this is a tuner um, so I'm not gonna be able to do anything with it outside of I can summon plague I can overlay with it into something that I can attach and then I'll be able to immediately put the plague back onto uh, onto the board by putting iron wall on top of my deck um, I can have the warning for if he summons another card car, but otherwise... Oh, Secret Barrel, you're not even playing Exodia. You're playing Chain Burn. Okay, I'm... Oh, this is so much easier then. This is so much easier. My win condition is definitely faster than Chain Burn's. 100%. Um, accumulated Fortune... Uh, okay, I just kind of gave him that one, but here comes a Chain Strike. I'm expecting it. Oh, Wabaku? Okay. Hmm. Why are you doing this here? Chain strike. There it is. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so I take 2,400. He draws two cards. I get this. Easy. I'm okay with this. I get to in-face pop his stuff with Anomal Acaris. I can just make another Anomal Acaris here. Um, I can make double of these. And um, and that's 100% fine. In fact, I could do a bit more than that. Um, I can make Cat Shark, but that's not going to do anything real. Um, I can make Armory Arm. I can flip this. I can make something to detach one is basically what I'm trying to get at so I can normal summon plague and I could put this in grave but actually it's just that's just not the right play we're just gonna make double a normal Karras. if he if he plays something savage like Rageki then I guess he got me but otherwise I get to pop two of his cards in the in phase of every single turn uh, so this is gonna be neat this is gonna be neat and should potentially be pretty goddamn easy um, he wabakooed me so I'm not gonna attack him very clearly. Okay, so this is an Exodia, and that actually makes it so much easier for me. I'm just, I'm repeating the same things over and over again, because these are the kind of matchups that I hate, because they're so, like, they're so stress-inducing, but they're not even stress-inducing because they're good. It's just like you get put on this weird clock, um, and, like, the deck is typically just not good. Uh, the deck you're playing against is typically just not the best. Um, but otherwise, uh, what did he reveal? What is that? Oh, Jar of Greed and Secret Blast? Secret Blast? What do you do? I, th I seem to remember you being another Secret Barrel. Let me read this card. Um, is this card on field destroyed by opponent's card effect? Okay, so um, let's not pop that one. Uh, but we're going to in-face pop these two. 100%. I'm at 4,000. Definitely high enough to survive. Um, Secret Blast does my cards or all cards? Um, for the cards they control. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm okay with this card of demise, card of damn eyes. All right, he's gonna draw two. He can only set one, and the rest are gonna go in the in phase. Or he can summon something like card car, in which case I'm gonna warning it. In phase, he discarding those. All right, well we're gonna use this. We're gonna use this, destroy these. I get to do these. These are effects that I get to activate. Um, rip and piece dueler. Um, we'll just do this one. We'll do these two. These two seem fine. Uh, Card of Demise and a Wabaku. That seems pretty actually worth. Uh, so now I can do Shape Sister here, which means I'll be able to summon these. 
And I can just make a third of Uh This seems fine. I know one of these is Secret Blast. Uh, one of these two is Secret Blast, and I've got to respect that. Um, but otherwise, I think everything's fine. I think everything's fine from what I have on my board, because this is, this is great. Look at all these cards I'm summoning. Look at all this nonsense. Look at it. That's an accumulated fortune. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. All right, well, we're going to activate this. Actually, this was probably a bad idea. I know this card is most likely not Secret Blast, so we're going to pop it. I should have overlaid first, just to reduce the number of cards I have, but even though, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have 9 different cards, which means that would be 2,700 and then 37 off of the Secret Blast, but I can reduce that by 600. Okay, or, or it's just not going to be a factor. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie! <laughs> sure! Oh man, Accumulated Fortune here? Damn, if I had activated this targeting that again, he wouldn't have been able to activate Accumulated Fortune! What a savage! Alright, well, 1900, wait, what was my math? Where was my math wrong? Why don't we take 21? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, it's because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times 3? Oh, I'm bad at math, that's why. <laughs> that's why! Uh, that's why I am bad at math, but we are currently in a very good position. I can't declare an attack this turn, so that sucks, but what I can do is I can just make another one of these. T fucking he! I can activate another, make another one. Um, I should have attached off of this, honestly, because then I could have left a material on this. That's some minor technical play error that's probably not going to actually matter in the end because he's going to have three... Well, actually could really have mattered because he would have drawn to a third card um, and then I could have popped all three in the end phase. So there's that. Uh, I've already got rid of a card of demise, which was cool as shit, but otherwise... Ever, otherwise, the demise wouldn't have done anything here. Well, no, it would have if he has three settables. What am I saying? Like... This is exactly what happens. Like, my brain goes dead in these matchups. Alright, well. Uh, no. Yes. N what? Why did it not let me warning that card? What the fuck? Alright. I see how it is, Dev Pro. You're just gonna try and give me the swift Jimmy Johns? Um. Well, I can actually. Uh, I can do this in a m different way that actually yields me more cards, and that's what we're gonna do, because now I get to activate this, and then I can activate this. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so I've already targeted card car. I'm gonna pop this card because it was the first one set. So that's reckless. Um, drew backjack and another accumulated, and then this gets to activate. And then this gets to activate. And then this gets to activate. I get to reveal three cards. Oh, that's not one. Oh, that's one. Oh, that's two. All right. So is this one card something that can kill me? Probably not. It had to be something like Dimension uh, Barrier or Dimension Wall, whatever that card is, or Magic Cylinder, uh, the other one. But as it stands, we're just popping it. Uh, if it's Secret Blast, I lose. No! I fucking lose! No! What the fuck is this? Oh my goodness. I lose to that! That's so agitating! What the fuck? <laughs> no! I played that almost perfectly! And then that's just... Oh my god. Oh, uh, I popped the wrong card in his end phase. You know what? I can attribute this to me being greedy. I could have just easily popped his two back row and left the card car and not have mattered. Or, Dev Pro... Props to you, Dev Pro, not letting me warning the card car because I'm at 1900 life. That actually makes a shit ton of sense now that I think about it. <laughs> Why was I actually concerned about that? Why was I actually confused about that? I knew I was at 1900 life. I just, I don't know. I mean, I established that my brain was going dead in this entire video, so there's that. In fact, I can almost barely speak. I'm like, I'm slurring my mouth. And I'm like, uh, chain burn is not real. I just lost ranking to that. That's so irritating. But anyway, I'm going to leave that video here. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to my Facebook, Twitch links, and backer music playlist. Take this video as an example. Don't get greedy. 
I had absolutely nothing to be afraid of from that card card D going to his in phase. I don't know why I popped the card car um, when I honestly had game on board if I had just popped his two back row. And then I could have just made Cat Shark and made one of these like huge. Well, actually, no, they're unaffected by monster effects. So never mind, not Cat Shark. But I can make Sky Cavalry, like, pretty simply. Damn it. Like, oh, oh, that's irritating. That is the most irritating thing I think I've ever seen. All right, well, oh. as always, guys, thanks for watching. I guess if you made it this far, give us a hashtag trap house in the, com in the comments down below. But other than that, ah, oh, Jesus, thanks for watching as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of this. Oh, fuck Chain Burn. As always, guys, take care. This deck is not real. Fucking Chain Burn!